Hello again, good friends, Brian from Apex Detail. Before we get into today's video, just a quick announcement that I feel I have to make every couple of months as the channel is growing at a uh, decent pace. This shop here, although small and cozy, never was set up to be a studio for a YouTube channel. It is a small yet active and very frantic shop where I take the time and get some footage for you guys throughout the day when I can. It's very, very rare where I can do a video and have it brought to you unedited as I have phone calls. I have customers, vendors, you name it. And if you think about it, a lot of those phone calls are you guys uh, with questions and concerns and I address and help you. So forgive me if sometimes I come back and I wipe down the panel again or I start to uh, jump back into the correction and forget to hit record on the video and things look a little bit different. It's just the way things are. I even have to uh, do voiceover in a lot of my videos because of the background noise uh, because it's a busy shop. For those that can't accept it, um, I understand that this may not be the channel for you. I, I think a lot of you do understand that. Um, I really don't care if you buy the product that I'm showing in that video or not. It doesn't concern me. I'm just showing you what works for me, how it works, what it works on, and when is a good time to use it. What you do with that information is com completely up to you. So that brings us to today's video. When it comes to traffic film removers, guys, um, if you're not familiar with the channel, for me, it's Angel Wax Fast Foam or Cleanliness or both together, depending on how bad traffic film is in a car, how long it's been before it's been washed. Sometimes I'll use Fast Foam with half ounce of um, Optimum Power Clean or Multi-X from CarPro or even Cleanliness. So it'll be a combination of one of those. So every time I come across a traffic film remover that catches my attention, I'm going to get it and show it to you guys. And I have one right here, and this is from Ethos, and this is called the Foam Party, made just for the foam lance and made to break down traffic film so it cuts down on you rubbing and rubbing and washing the car, frantically trying to remove that because that is, of course, where you get the scratching and marring. So I'm really looking forward to this. Let's get into the video. Ethos Foam Party, 16 ounces for $16.95, exclusively designed for use in your foam cannon or gun, pH neutral, safer waxes, sealants, coatings, any type of protection. It's a concentrated uh, formula, breaks down road grime. And here we have a perfect candidate, a white car, so it's, you can see the um, effectiveness of the product, and it hasn't been washed in a long time. So this is the perfect canvas here to start our test. Not only did I put my finger mark on some of the panels, and don't worry, that does lightly mar, but I'm correcting this. I also put plastic over one of the doors so we can let it as is, and we'll see if the road film and road grime is broken down by this foam party. It says two to three ounces for your foam cannon or gun. I'm going to use two ounces. I'm going to add it to warm water three quarters of the way up, and we're going to get going. The consistency of the formula, it's not as thin as water, but it's not as thick as molasses as some of these shampoos are that are highly concentrated. I'm not sure that means anything at all. This is just right in the middle. Okay, today's plan, lay the foam as thick as I can, as even as I can over the car, let it dwell for as long as I can. This is an overcast day. I'll probably be able to let this dwell for about six, seven minutes before it starts to dry and I have to quickly rinse off.
I'm not using my gas powered pressure washer so you can see even with the low pressure system you're going to get some very thick dwelling hanging suds there you know I figured it would do that it's not my concern the concern is does it have enough power to break down all the grime on this car a two layer system when it comes to the foam there's a larger layer of suds running down over a smaller layer that is quite slow and seems to dwell more on the car hopefully that is breaking down the road film quickly That's been long enough, let's rinse. When you swap from your foam lance back to the nozzle, always point it down towards the floor, towards the ground before you aim it at your car, just in case you do not have that plugged in properly, that will avoid a chip or a dent. With the SUV completely rinsed, thoroughly rinsed, and that is the idea behind it, thoroughly rinsing so you can get the foam 
and the grit that it encapsulates and lifts from the surface free of the surface so you can do your contact wash to cut back on marring. We remove the plastic sheathing over the door and you can see a pretty big difference. Has Ethos left behind some road film or has it removed it completely? I grabbed a microfiber, sprayed it with CarPro Multi-X, and what do we lift off? It's a little bit left behind here. Let's go to the front, to the driver's side door, do that again. And what do we have here? A little bit left behind. So, you know, that was a very filthy car, to be expected. As I take a look around the vehicle, some of the worst places were the front and the back, as you can imagine. Front because of bug splatter and everything else, the back because that's where everything splashes, and it did leave a lot of it behind. There was my finger mark we left earlier. As we scoot to the front of the car, you'll see bug splatter still left behind. So although it, it feels like it's uh, an above average product, there's still some improvement to be made. With that said, I did capture some footage after it has been washed after the contact wash because I noticed during the contact wash, it wasn't as hard to wash the rest of that away as it would be with some of the products that are out there for the pre-wash. So it did a good job breaking it down so you can remove it. And that is the idea behind this product. So you don't have to scrub as hard cutting back on marring. That will bring us to the final thought segment of the video, Ethos Foam Party. For 16 ounces at uh, $16 and change, the price is right there. When it comes to user friendliness, I mean, it's a foamer. You put it on, it rinses off. It's not a bear to rinse off. Um, and when it comes to effectiveness, that is where the conversation needs to begin. It's pH neutral, guys. So it was made for uh, removing traffic film from not only naked clear coat, but also clear coat that has been protected with a coating, a sealant, or a wax. So there's a fine line that they had to balance when it comes to the pH of the product. Making it effective, yet not making it too strong where it breaks down your protection. I'd like to see it a little bit stronger for my taste. So when it comes to our new ratings chart, the... Ethos Foam Party, it's going to end up in between average and impressive because it feels like it's above average, yet there is some room to impress me uh, as to where I need it to be here at the shop. This may work well for you guys at home if you have a vehicle that's protected. It's not really that dirty. You don't let it get that dirty. You stay on top of it. This will work for you. So there's an option. What you do with the information is completely up to you. If you have any questions, never hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.